Today we are going to learn how to perform a subcuticular running suture. For this, you will need a needle driver, pickups, suture scissors, suture, and your behind the knife suturing board. The subcuticular running suture can be used for cosmetic wound closures in clean, straight lacerations, patients with problematic suture removal, and young children as the suture will dissolve over time and not require the suture to be removed. We're going to start by picking up our needle drivers and loading our needle into them in the orientation for a forehand throw. The first step for the suture involves placing an anchoring stitch about 1-2 to two millimeters away from the top of the wound and securing it with a knot. After the knot is tied and the short end is trimmed, we will re-grasp the needle in the orientation for a backhand throw. From here, we will place the stitch at the top of the wound, starting in the dermis, and coming out right at the apex at the dermal-epidermal junction. We can now start the running portion of the suture by taking alternating bites of the left and right side of the wound. To do this, I will use the teeth of my forceps in my left hand to grasp the very edge of the epidermis and pull the skin edge up while everting it to make passing the needle through the dermal epidermal layer easier. Be careful not to evert the skin too much as it is easy to accidentally come out through the epidermis. Every time we regrasp our needle, we want to pull the suture tight, which allows the tissue to come together. As we advance our needle, be sure to take bites exactly perpendicular from each other to allow for the best tissue approximation. As we make our throw for the final bite, we will leave a loop of suture to tie our stitch. Now you can instrument tie at this point as we've done in the simple running suture video, but for this video, I will be demonstrating an Aberdeen knot. The Aberdeen knot is a hand tied knot that is thrown by holding the loop of suture open in your right hand and the suture with the needle on the end of it in your left hand. From here, we grab the suture below our left hand with our right and allow the loop to slide off our right hand while forming a new loop with the suture we grabbed. To make sure a knot is tight without any slack, it is important to pull the suture in the loop with your right hand until the knot slides all the way down. From here, you can perform the same movement two more times. On the final throw, we will pull the entire suture, including the needle, through the loop until the entire loop slides down and locks the suture in place. Now from here, we can regrasp the suture with our needle drivers and take a bite at the bottom apex of the wound to bury the knot we've just tied. Once you cut your suture flush against the skin, you've just completed a subcuticular running suture.